Hello and welcome to another video of this no app, no code app development using Firebase and AppGyver. In the last video, I created a page course details. And then the page is now available as a separate entity. So in the home, if I click on BigQuery, nothing happens. But then if I click on course details, it lists me all the courses that are available irrespective of the grouping. In this video, what I'm going to show you is how you click on the home page, Google BigQuery, and it takes you to the course details and filters only BigQuery related videos. And then big data and machine learning. And in the course details, you see only big data and machine learning, right? So let's get started. Let's understand the concept. This is known as drill through parameters, drill through parameters. So drill through page navigation using page parameters. This is how it works. You have a page courses, which is your home page. And then from here, you need to filter based on the component you click, you need to filter on the course details. That is the concept. Step number one, create a page parameter, param underscore group, all right? So step number one, create a page parameter. Step number two, set the header as param group in course details. Because the steps are written closer to this page, that means you have to do it over here. Let's quickly do these steps. Create a page parameter and set the header as param group. So now I go here. This is my second page where you need to land, go to variables, go to page parameters and add a param. In the name of the parameter, I say param underscore group. Click on save. Step number two was that set the header as param group. When I say header, I mean go back to view course details, I want to display this as param group. So click on this, go to properties. You see ABC, click here. Now I have to set it as a variable. So data and variable, page parameter and param group, just because you created this as a page parameter in the previous step. So this is going to be the header, right? Let's see step number three. In the step number three, component action. You have to define a component action, which I'm going to tell you, and set the parameter value, param group, where in this page, because this is written closer to this. Step number three needs to perform, needs to be performed here. So let's go to the first page. So click on course details. First page is my home. And I click on this list item. The component action is here in the show logic. If you click on this, it will open up. And on the left hand side, I think I showed you in the first video, wherein you have multiple actions that you can do. We'll not worry about anything else for now. I'm just going to say open page like this. And then the small round button here, I'm going to connect with this. And then I click on this navigation. So round button, open page, I dragged up drop here. Round button here, clicked on, just drag and drop. You should make a line like this and click on this. In the properties, in the page, make sure course detail is selected. Click on save and then param group. This is the parameter that we need to pass. And then click on the cross. Now I have to set the value of param group. The value of param group would be the item you clicked. Think about this, param group, this is the group, Google BigQuery, machine learning and big data and stuff like that. So now I have to set up this group to be param underscore group. So I click on this data item in repeat. 
click on current and i'm going to pass the value group click on save so what it does is wherever you click it's going to take that record data item in repeat current underscore current dot group and will pass to the page course details in course details you have this param already set up let's take a look at it so i go back in here app guyver and if i now click on google bigquery you see google bigquery is written but everything is shown i go to home click on anything you would see all the data that is our step number 4 step number 4 is filter data using param group this we are going to do in the next video so follow the step 1 2 and 3 here step number 4 we will do it in the next video thank you for watching